Uh, we're going <laughs> to reflect on the notable brand winners and losers of the past year. Powerhouse brands like Disney and Bud Light, they plummeted after their woke policies tainted their products. Even our highest institu institutions, they took a big old L after they failed to condemn anti-Semitism on their campuses like Harvard. Katrina. That's right. <clears throat> I've heard about that one. <laughs> uh, but the big winners showed up and showed out. Taylor Swift was the queen of 2023, if you haven't heard me say it the first 50 times. Yeah, she's from my hometown. From her tour to being named 2023 Time Magazine Person of the Year, the superstar songwriter was at the top of everyone's mind this year, including her new BFs, Travis Kelsey. Okay, well, joining us now to go over the list further is marketing professor John Tantillo and former managing editor for Forbes magazine and host of the What's Bugging Me podcast, Dennis <laughs> Neal. John, you wrote this list for Newsmax.com, so explain to us here, how did you pick the winners, how did you pick the losers, and what did you base this analysis on? Well, first of all, I have to say hello to my dear friend, uh, Dennis. It's been a while. But, uh, <laughs> good to see you, John. Uh, you look awful as, good. as far as I'm concerned, he's a brand winner. But if we go to the list, we have to consider Taylor Swift. And I cited in the uh, column that I wrote that she had uh, something like uh, 95 million um, uh, ex followers, and I was I was uh, promptly uh, noted that uh, she's got like 751 million Instagram followers. So you gotta say you may not like her music. Uh, I I love her music. Um, so she she's. Definitely a um, a brand winner. Um, as far as uh, another brand winner is concerned, um, we're appearing <coughs> on a brand. Got coming? <laughs> What's that? Newsmax. Newsmax. There that's it is. right. That's <laughs> right. It was so, it was so subtle. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, you know, my, my parents used to tell me self-praise stinks, but in this case, it's an exception. Uh, I I just uh, think, and, and the numbers prove it, that That's Newsmax right. has done it. There we go. All right, Dennis, uh, we know that hey, you're um, chomping at the bit to dive in. All right, what do you think? Uh, well, a couple of things. First of all, great column by by uh, John there of, uh, on Newsmax.com. And regarding Taylor Swift, I want to say, brilliantly played by her and this whole thing of pretending to get with the football player so that oh, they can hey eventually now. break up and she can inspire a whole new album of pain and <laughs> angst is just really Ooh, well I done that uh, it, well it also, said <laughs> well yeah, said she's, so she's done great for herself um and i'll tell you uh you know, also on John's list, that uh, Starbucks idea that John brought up, I thought that was a good one. I hadn't thought of that, that they did stand up to the pro-Hamas supporters who were in the wrong. And rarely does a company make the right choice and do the harder thing these days. So I thought that was a good pick by John. Yeah, John, do you think that, say, brands like uh, Bud Light can bounce back? We've seen them trying. Absolutely. Marketing and branding is all about change. And the way they lo lo lost it, they can get it back, which means that what they have to do is they have to play it intelligently. And uh, which brings up my idea of marketing nomics, which is satisfying customer needs by p placing profits above politically. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, politically uh, current policies. This is, uh, like if there. corporations, yep. if corporations do this, they'll, they'll, they'll come back. And wow. this is just as, I, I just think I'm, um, a minor blip. Oh. Right. But uh, yes, I, I, I got you, know, you guys. Regarding the... Guys, we gotta, we're, we're out of time ah. here. Producers tell okay. me to wrap. We need an hour on this. I know. Yeah. We do. We do. Yeah. The only disagreement I have, Newsmax should have been number one. <laughs> Just my take here. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, I agree. All right. I uh, agree. Gentlemen, well, thank, you. <laughs> thank you for coming on. Happy New Year to both of you.